Uh, updates on the IMA fraud, minute by minute updates that we here at News 9 giving to you. Investors, of course, waiting with anticipation, with much worry, depression, wanting to know if their money is going to come back. And more importantly, will these people be brought to book? Where is Mansoor Khan? Here we have information now that Mansoor Khan had planned his escape from India almost one month ago. Dubai-based uh, MTT, METT travels, processed Mansoor Khan's visa is what uh, information that we have. Mansoor Khan also used the visa to reach Dubai on the 8th of June. Mansoor had applied for his visa a month in advance. Mansoor took ample time to manage his gold and diamond items. Visa was issued on the May 5th of May and is valid until the 15th of September. This is the most uh, meticulous planning, meticulous escape that Mansoor Khan, a man like him who is known to be uh, high profile, hobnobbing with the best in the within the government, having that kind of reach, connections, contacts. This man very meticulously planned his escape after looting thousands of crores of uh, innocent people's money, gullible people, investors' money in the name of Allah, in the name of religion. This man calling it halal money, halal investment, managed to dupe thousands of them, nicked away at least 6,000 odd crores. That's the estimation more or less, but some say it could run up to a lakh-ish crores. If at all you do multiply even 1 lakh per person of an investment, you, you multiply that into 40,000. You're looking at, a, at a, a more or less a 40,000 crore scam. If, if that's what it looks like, then this is unpardonable. Uh, can't possibly justify, explain. This is ultimately now called the biggest fraud of Bengaluru. If at all Mansoor Khan is caught, if at all the directors now are claiming innocence, it's very hard to believe. And this is the immigration document that we have, that we've accessed, where it clearly shows that Mansoor Khan very meticulously planned his escape. He got his uh, visa done on the 5th of May itself, almost two months ago, almost a month ago. And uh, right, in, uh, right after, he was called for questioning. Uh, in fact, uh, on the 5th of June, he was called for question. On the 4th of June, he was called, called for questioning. But then he said he had uh, Eid to celebrate and he would appear before the cops on the 6th. He did appear on the 6th. He was grilled for about two hours. And then soon after, the same evening, he contacts his driver, get, goes to his Jainagar's showroom, gets all his uh, jewellery, gets hand of all of the boxes and then packs it up and takes away on the 7th and leaves, abandons his Range Rover car and another uh, luxury car there uh, in the Kempe Garda International Airport. And here we are looking at this man very meticulously pre-planned -pre his entire escape.